center pace, going to the gate. I.B. shooting Lenny Myers, finds all flight, Russell Burgoyne. Caution sign to Len McGuigan. Edgewater R.B. Kurt Hughes. Glendale Tucker, Ron Matheson. Cambo Gate on the outside for Vince Fulton. Eight race, top of the stretch. Here they come. up and pacing IB shooting Pine Grove flight caution sign Edgewater RB the four of them leaving out racing fifth into the turn that's Glengal Tucker and Campbell Jace is the early trailer around the turn and up that opening eighth on the lead IB shooting caution sign driving down the outside coming on to challenge third up the rail that's Pine Grove flight and now in fourth Edgewater RB Glengal Tucker is fifth and the trailer, that's Cambo Jace, the new leader at the quarter. Caution sign in line to Len McGuigan. Now it's by two lengths. Racing from second along the rail is IV shooting. Third along the inside, Pine Grove flight. The opening quarter mile was 29 and 01 fair. Facing fourth, Edgewater RB. Then in fifth, that's Glengal Tucker. And the trailer is Cambo Jace, sixth. Down the lane towards the half. And caution sign has opened up here on the front end. It's now a four-length advantage at the half. I.B. Shooting, well off the leader, is second. Facing third, Pine Grove Flight. Fourth along the rail, Edgewater R.B. Moving up fifth to the outside. That is Glengyle Tucker. And the trailer, Cambo Jade, has gone off stride. The half in 58 and four fifths. Up the back stretch now. On the lead, it's caution sign. Clear and driving here. Second is IB Scootin', Pine Grove Flight. Now third on the outside. Edgewater RB along the rail. It's fourth. It's coming up in the middle. Glengal Tucker now fifth. And the trailer. Cambo Jade is sixth. They buy three quarters. Caution sign on the lead. Here comes Pine Grove Flight. Now second. Moving into third. Edgewater RB is coming on. Fourth up the rail. IB Scootin'. Then in fifth is Glengal Tucker. One, 28. And four at three quarters. Still caution sign. Edgewater RB is coming right to him. Pine Grove Flight is there in the middle. They're in deep. Stretch now coming to the finish line. Edgewater RB will win it here for Kurt Hughes. Pine Grove Flight is second. Caution sign third. Circle from race eight, number four is Edgewater RB, a Bay Basin Gold Three by Largo from the Nike Blue Chip Den, Edgewater Wave. All by Jason Hughes and Jack Quinn of Charlottetown. Jason does the training. Kirk Hughes is in the driver's seat tonight for the win. Time of the miles in 158, four fifths on number four, Edgewater RB in the eight. On its backside, the Southport Home Building Center cooler present. That's right, the Shiner's face, and we're over here in the historic judges stand. They're coming out on the ninth race. To Got the first and second choices on the board and the featured here in the 12th race on the way to the gate. Checkmate and Albert Bernard, Harlingen P. Paul McDonald. Riverly Bandit, Donnie McNeil, Village Lab, Kenny Arsenault. Edgewater RB, Kurt Hughes. One Big Buster, Walter Chevrolet. Ironside, Brian Andrew. And Basin View, Albert, in back the trailer for Norris Rogers. They're all lined up. And they're off in the feature, off stride, getting away was Village Lab into the turn. Harlingen P is headed for the lead. Checkmate will get away second, around the turn, Riverly Bandit third, Basin View Albert. He'll set up fourth. Edgewater RB's away fifth, into sixth now. One big buster. Seventh is Ironside, and the trailer after the break at the start is Village Lab up the back stretch they go. There goes Basin View Albert now. Rogers not going to wait. Was fourth. Is third. Now second. And he's headed for the leader as they go by the quarter. That's Basin View Albert. Now on the outside to take over. Second up the rail. Harlingen P. 30 and three was the quarter. Riverly Bandits up and driving now in third. Racing fourth is Checkmate. Edgewater RB underway. Second over on the outside. Now fifth. 
pacing from six as they move on down the stretch and approach the half. A racing six, one big buster. Then in seventh, Village Lab, the trailer is Ironside, four in and four out as they move on by the half. Basin View Albert is the leader. The half up in 102. And one midway around the paddock turn. Albert's the leader at the 5 8. Riverly Bandits at his wheel. And on the rail, Harlequin P is a third. It's you water RB. Three wide and moving fourth. Coming up fifth, one big buster. Checkmate now six. Seventh Village Lab and the trailer, Ironside, Edgewater RB, scooting right to the front here. Second is Basin View Albert, Harlequin P on the rail, third, Riverly Bandit, fourth, one, 33 and a three, and they're homeward bound in the Saturday afternoon feature at Charlottetown, Edgewater RB, happy birthday, Kurt Hughes, Edgewater RB. Gets there for the Lee Drake pick of the day. Basin View Albert is second. Looked like it was Harlequin P third. On his way to the winner's circle from today's 12, number five, Edgewater RB. Bay Pacing Gelding four by Largo from the nightly blue chip dam, Edgewater Wave. Owned by Jack Quinn of Charlottetown, trained by Jason Hughes. Kurt Hughes, celebrating his 25th today, is in the driver's seat. And a huge closing quarter on this track this afternoon. The back quarter is 28 and 1 from out in 201. Four fifths. Edgewater RB, the Lee Drake. Walter Ace going to the gate, Edgewater RB and Kurt Hughes, Mr. Madison County, David O'Brien, Signature Fielster and Walter Chevrolet, Coconut Supreme, Jason Hughes, Ironside for Brian Andrew, Riverly Bandit, Donnie McNeil, Harlequin Pees in back trailing with Paul McDonald. It's the Saturday night feature at Charlottetown, all lined up. There they go, up and pacing. And the Hughes boys are going to be one, two off the wing. Edgewater RB at the rail. Coconut Supreme to his outside. Following through to be third, Harlingen P around the turn fourth. Mr. Madison County, signature shields to fifth. Ironside is sixth. And Riverly Bandit is the early trailer. Up the back stretch they go. Coconut Supreme clearing. And Edgewater RB now. They're going to play a little give and go here in the early going. Edgewater RB back on the front here for Kurt Hughes. Second is Coconut Supreme, Harlingen P on the rail. A racing third, 29 and four, quarter mile. Around the turn, Mr. Madison County goes fourth, racing from fifth. Along the inside, that signature field chair. Ironside is sixth, and the trailer is Riverly Bandit seven. Down the lane they come for time one. The backfield, they're in motion now. They approach the half mile. Edgewater RB, the leader on Coconut Supreme. Here comes Mr. Madison County. First up on the outside, third. Pacing fourth up the rail, Harlingen P. On the outside and second over fifth. Signature field chair from the rail. That's Riverly Bandit now sixth. Ironside on the outside, seventh. Opening half mile in a minute. Four fifths to the three quarters they go. Edgewater RB freewheeling on the lead here. Second, Coconut Supreme. Mr. Madison County, third on the outside. Harlequin P on the rail going fourth. Riverly Bandit now fifth. Ironside is three wide. Signature Fielster between them seven. Three quarters in one, 30 and a two. Eighth of a mile to go, and they're rolling here on the front end. Edgewater RB full of pace coming down the lane. Second, Coconut Supreme. Harlingen P on the outside third. Edgewater RB and Kurt Hughes in the feature. Second is Coconut Supreme. Harlequin P finishes third.
Into the winner's circle in race 12, one Edgewater RB. Bay Pacing Gelding, he's four by Largo. From Edgewater Wave by Knightley Blue Chip. On the Jack Wynn of Charlottetown, Courtier's training and driving. Pacing the back half tonight in 57 and 3. Time of the mile, it's 158. Too fast. Edgewater RB in the... Tonight's 11th has one big buster in Brian McPhee, Falstaff, Kenny Arsenal, Mr. Madison County, Alex Toby, Riverly Bandit, Donnie McNeil, Cheyenne and Danaga with Lenny Myers, Ironside and Brian Andrew, Edgewater RB and the outside, Kurt Hughes, the Taylor George V, and Ron Matheson. Here they come. There they go, up and pacing, Cheyenne and Danaga firing right out of there. Second as they make the turn, all on the inside is one big buster. Foul stop on the turn, third off stride. One big buster's on the run as they go by the eighth pole. Ty and Danaga's on the lead here for Lenny Myers. Quickly by three. Second is foul stop. Ironside away third. Riverly Bandit now fourth. And in fifth, Edgewater RB. Mr. Madison County is sixth. George the fifth now seventh. And back down pacing and the trailer is one big buster. They arrived at the quarter mile in 30 and a fifth. Midway around the upper turn. First time, Ty and Danaga fronting the field. From the rail, foul stop second. Iron side of watching it all third. Pacing fourth as it gets set to straighten down the stretch. Up on the outside is Edgewater RV. Fifth along the rail. That's Riverly Bandit. Mr. Madison County third over six. George the fifth, seventh. And a one big buster in the backfield trailing. Into the turn for time two. On the front end, Ty and Danaga. The half up in 101. And three fifths. Racing on around the turn. On the front end at the 5 8 tie in the Naga. Second down the outside, Ironside. Edgewater RB brings up three wide third along the rail fourth. Foul staff. Mr. Madison County fifth. Riverly Bandit is sixth. Then in seventh, George the fifth. And the trailer, one big buster. They're by three quarters on the front end. Ty and Danaga is still the leader here. Three quarters in one. 31. That's one in 29 and change here. Ty and Danaga bringing them home. Up on the outside. Coming on second, Edgewater RB. Third is Pal Staff. Mr. Madison County fourth. Deep in the lane. Coming to the line next. Edgewater RB on the outside looks to get it. Ty and Danaga right with him second. Might have been Pal Staff third, but we're going to need a win. Picture. Eleven on seven all. Now returning in race eleven, number seven, Edgewater RB, Bay Pace and Gelding four by Largo from the nightly blue chip dam, Edgewater Wave. On the Jack Quinn of Charlottetown, Kurt Hughes does the training and the driving. Time of the mile in two oh one and three fifths. Edgewater RB in the eleven. Here's the official results. One one big bust. There was eight. Two foul staff third. Three, Mr. Madison County fourth. Four, Riverly Bandit sixth. Five, Ty and Danaga finished second. Six, Ironside seventh. Seven, Edgewater RB the winner. Eight, George the fifth finished fifth. Fractures were 30 and one, 101 and three. 131 and the mile in 201 and three. Rechecking it's eight three four six two seven one. What did I tell him to fix? <laughs> that means the Bearcat Pacers an opening night at Charlottetown in the line up in the eleventh race. Kick it in the your trade, coconut supreme, cheap and you. Try my train and Earl Smith are inside with Brian Andrew. Up down is Lord Rogers. Edgewater RB Kurt Hughes. And eight Hanover on the outside for Jerry Gallan is the Saturday night feature.
on the inside are at 481. Les is going with 415. They're lining up on the starting gate in the seventh. Let's go upstairs to Vance Cameron. It's the evening's co-feature lead. Good group here set to do battle in the evening's seventh race. With Coors Life, the Laird, and Hot Foot inside. Edgewater RB, West River Nelly, they're in the middle. On the outside, Try My Dream, Shop Drop and Roll, Basin View Albert. They're all lined up and approaching the start. There they go. They're up and pacing, leaving up the rail. Coors Life into the turn. The Laird's away second. Hot foot into third. Dropping in fourth. Edgewater RB. West River and Eldie fifth. Then in sixth. Try my dream. Shop drop and roll. Face and view Albert. Folks, not often when you find an eight horse field, you get them in program order. But that's a fact tonight at Charlotte Town. They're headed to the opening quarter mile at Coors Life. In line to Terry Galland is showing the way. The Laird is second, hot foot away third. Moving out from fourth, that's Edgewater RV. West River Nelly along the rail is fifth, shop drop and roll. Moving up six on the outside. Pacing from seventh, try my dream. And the trailer, Pace and View Albert, he's three wide in the back. Opening quarter, 29 and four. Off that upper turn and down the stretch they come towards half mile. On the front end, Coors Life is the leader. Second along the rail, that's the Laird. Racing third on the outside, Edgewater RV. Hot foot right up in the ring and along the rail, he's fourth. Pacing from fifth and moving outside. That shot dropped in a row. West River Nelly hemmed in along the inside. He's a racing six. Try My Dream is seventh. And the trailer, Pacing Mill Albert, opening half mile in 101. And four. 
a bit of a breather in the second for Corey's Life, and they're picking it up now. We're racing to three quarters. The Laird is second. Third on the outside, it's Water RV. Now fourth, the shot dropped and roll. Hot foot on the rail, fifth. Pacing from six. Along the inside, West River Nelty. Seventh is Try My Dream. And the trailer, Basin Mill Albert. Three quarters in 131. That's 29 and change. Eight double mile left to go. Corey's Life, bringing them home here. Coming up on the outside. It's you, Water RV is second. Shop drop and roll third. Fourth is the Laird. Deep stretch now. It's Water RV got there. Corey's Life second. Shop drop and roll third. Going into the winter circle in race seven, number four, Edgewater RV. Bay Pace and Gelding, five by Largo. From the nightly blue chip dam, Edgewater Wave. On the Jack Quinn of Charlottetown, Kurt Hughes, training and driving. Mile two minutes and two fives. Edgewater RV in the seventh. Fighter, now who's lapping? Edgewater RV. Shot, drop, and roll. I gotta go. Exclusives. Yankee Sun, Showtime. There they go, they're up and pacing, exclusives, fires out. DM Starfighter along the rail, turn into the turn, now who's lapping? Racing for it, all on the inside is Edgewater RV. Shop, drop and roll, gets away fifth, I gotta go with six. Yankee Sun sizing it up at the back of the bus tonight. He's the trailer. And DM Starfighter insisted on the lead. Terry Gallant complies. He's got them clear by four here, and they're going some. Second the woods are L. Now who's laughing? Exclusives went to plan B. He's now third after a 28. The opener gapped out in fourth, Edgewater RB, shop, drop, and roll towards the rail fifth. I gotta go six. Yankee Sun starts to go on the outside seventh, approaching the half mile, and it's DM Starfighter, clear by three, on uh, now who's lapping, exclusives, edged out third. Edge of Water RV, fourth, Yankee Sun, fifth to the outside, towards the rail, shop, drop, and roll, and I gotta go the trailer, they're on by the 5-H pole, and it's DM Starfighter showing the way, here comes exclusives, up and out of the outside, 50, Eight to three was the half, and Exclusives takes over. DM Starfighter is second. Edgewater RB third on the outside. Shop, drop, and roll. Getting into it fourth from the rail. Now who's lapping? He's a fifth. Three quarters in one. 28 and three. It's Exclusives bringing them home. Edgewater RB coming right to him. Shop, drop, and roll. And the three of them across the track in an all war. Edgewater RB got there. Exclusive second shot drop and roll third. Advanced field out for you in just a minute. Kurt Hughes going into tonight's uh, race program. Uh, he's had a pretty active season actually so far early on. 14 starts going into tonight. He had two winners and he's had just added to that total tonight on the season so far. Heading back to the winner's circle of tonight's fast class fans. Great trip. It sure was Lee and that winner on the line as the three of them kind of got there together was three Edgewater RB of A Pacing Gelding. Six years by Largo. From the nightly blue chip dam, Edgewater Wave. On by Jack Quinn of Charlottetown, Kurt Hughes. Training and driving. Time of the mile, 157. One fifth. Edgewater RV. In the feature.
All right, so the replay is coming screen there now, and Edgewater RB just leaving the winner's circle. Great race tonight, and a great effort from Edgewater RB. Lots of action early on in this race, too. Yeah. 
Returning to the winning signals from tonight's 11th race, what is it? What are our be The big pigs and gelding seven by Largo. From the Nightly Blue Chip Dam, Edgewater Wave. All trained and driven to victory by Kurt Hughes of Charlottetown. Time of the ball in two minutes. Two fair. Edgewater RB in the 11th. 